Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to check out sunspot comparisons, superstar theory from plasma cosmology, a new super radar, and a fake dark matter finding. And of course, we have some space weather updates, too, so we'll be starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Things have actually been fairly quiet since yesterday's X-class solar flare event. The coronal hole, plasma filaments, and sunspots keep turning, but eruptive activity was mostly absent the last day. However, there is an update on yesterday's blast. If you recall, while the position of the eruption sent the plasma mostly up and away from the Earth, it was a wide burst CME, and on the coronagraphs yesterday, we said we saw a faint signature leaving the central region bottom right for a barely halo eruption. NOAA has updated their emerald spiral, and while indeed most is going to miss the Earth, there is a tiny component that joins with the coronal hole solar wind to arrive tomorrow or Thursday. Up to level 2 geomagnetic storms are in the forecast. Not scary, but very relevant for aurora watching. Those sunspots are still turning into face Earth today, and will be primary eruption threats for about a week. The sunspot group on the south is bigger than the one that caused the Carrington event in 1859. Well sort of. It's actually two active regions huddled close together, so technically no sunspot group has broken that mark, but the interaction between them is there, and so they are acting like one sunspot group, eyes open as she turns in. Folks, this is cool. For those veteran observers who remember our cosmology days or who have seen Robitaille or Crothers on the problems with black hole science, we have long said what was actually at the center of galaxies was a new form of superstar, not a black hole. Well, this new study has taken them so dangerously close to that. They still want their traditional black hole embedded somewhere in the center, but now it's hidden inside that exact superstar. Yeah, they're going to be at plasma cosmology by 2030 at this rate. And folks, this is pretty cool. The eye candy is from Greece, new super radar for high detail mapping, and it is showing off in the Athens area downtown here. That's cool. Our final story today comes back to cosmology again. Scientists claim they've found dark matter. Heard that before? Let's see. Well, no, not the actual stuff, just a light signature of gamma emission excess just above and below the galactic center that they say could be related to dark matter annihilation, and that is idiotic. Because those are strongest and base features of the larger up and down structure from the galactic center already known as the Fermi bubbles. These are huge lobes stretching north and south structures of the galactic center, largely shining in x-rays but with a gamma component base as well. This feature is well known. The base gamma emission was known, and the entire structure is magnetic. It's part of the disk Taurus jet model and is always there with spinning energetic things in space. Not new, not dark matter, and it's only a lobe because when there isn't enough power north and south to make an escaping jet, that lesser polar push inflates bubbles like it does in the Milky Way. Folks, goldobservers.com has extended their 10% price match to silver and gold with qualified purchases. A permanent store of value when you get the physical metal in your hand, barter priceless in a decline in descent, and eternally valuable for not just worth but usage in pre-societal technology and medicine. Goldobservers.com and Gold Co. are sponsoring our documentary on the Earth disaster cycle coming out very soon, and veteran observers have been stacking that precious metal for quite a while. We've got eyes on the sun for more space weather activity. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to everything is down below, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.